Hey, it's Al Angelo from A Plus Racing, bringing you another video on how to get your car up on the front line. All right, the question was asked a couple of weeks ago about on a Q&A Monday about how do I check bearing clearance? And I know that there are several ways of doing that. Some of them are very expensive and I'm not a very expensive person. I try to go with the cheapest, most accurate one I can afford. And so I'm using plastic gauge, all right? So this is plastic gauge. I know there's a red and I think there's a blue. The red, the difference between the red and the green plastic gauge is the amount of clearance, all right? So I think that the red one is from like um, a half a thousandth to a, a couple of thousandths. This one is goes from one thousandth to, uh, to three thousandths, all right? So this is the specifications, and I'm going to show you specifications in a minute on, um, on our Miatas, all right? So... I'll explain that to you. So I use the green one for our Miata because that's the one that we need to have. All right. So, and I'll explain what all these little lines are for here when we go out to the shop and actually check the bearing clearance on an engine. All right. So um, what I need to know is I need to know what are the specifications. Okay. So I pulled it up on Mitchell on Demand here at the high school. We use Mitchell on Demand. Um, the, the, the District pays for it, uh, so fortunately we get to use that um, in the shop. And so I've got up a 1999 Mazda Miata. I'm in the engines, and then I'm in the uh, the specifications. So if you look right here, I, I have a crankshaft end play. So it tells me it's uh, somewhere between three thousandths and eleven thousandths is standard. Maximum is twelve thousandths maximum run out main bearings okay and we are going to check a rod bearing but i would look in here for the main bearing specification i should say oil clearance there it is the oil clearance is 0 0.0007 to 0 0.0014 if you're like most kids in my class you don't understand what that means so i will explain it okay i'm going to check a rod bearing out in the shop and so right here it says connector rod bearing it tells me what the journal size is right here um, how much out of round we're allowed, two thousandths. And then here it is right here, the oil clearance. So the oil clearance standard, 0.0011 to 0.0018, and the maximum of 0.0039, okay? So I know that's a lot of funky numbers. And when I was in high school, I don't have a clue what the hell that was. When you start using that word point, that's when my mind shut off. Maybe you're the same way, maybe you're not. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you the exact same way that I explain it to the kids in my class. So in order to do that, I got to go to the board. So let's go to the whiteboard. Come on, follow me along. All right. Okay. So um, I always start off with this. I'm going to teach this just like I do if it was my class and a bunch of kids sitting in here. So I, I, I got married about 10 years ago. And uh, that's true. True story. True story. So I got married. Married a lovely gal. And uh, we decided we want to have a party. All right. For our wedding. So we have a lot of friends. So I invite a thousand people. All right. So I invite 1000 people. And my wife's like, how are we going to feed them all? I'm like, it's not a problem. I can take care of that. So I go down to the local grocery store and I said, I'm going to have a wedding reception and I got to feed a thousand people. All right. And, um, but I don't have a lot of money and I can only afford about one inch worth of ham. Okay. So one inch worth of ham. I thought I had a tip. Yeah. So like, uh, that much. <laughs> okay. So one inch, but I need you to slice it into a thousand slices okay so they take that ham and they cut that into a thousand slices <laughs> all right now when i look at the specifications on the engine so it says the maximum is point spec is point zero 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 three nine yep zero zero three nine okay so i know this looks a little confusing i want to get back to my thousand pieces of, of, of ham here so this thousand piece of ham one of those slices is written point zero zero one 
two of them would be 0 0.002, okay, and so forth, all right? Once I got to 0.999 and we added one more slice, then that would be 1.000, okay, which is one inch, all right? I hope, I hope that helps clear it up. Usually by the time I get to that, a lot of kids' faces light up. Oh, I get it, I get it, I understand what he's talking about. Then I have to throw the monkey wrench at him about this, okay? Because right now, if I cover that up, I'm dealing with 0 .003, three pieces of ham that were going to my wedding, <laughs> all right? But then we added this number here in. So the problem with this number here, it's a little confusing. So I'll, I try to do it like this. All right, one of you out there, and you know who you are, decided to bring other family members with, that were not invited to the wedding reception. And you bring nine other people, okay? If I have, so now I have to take your piece, okay, that you got, your point zero zero one, all right, and I got to cut that one up into 10 pieces, okay, so that all of your friends could have a piece of that ham, all right, and this number here is nine of those, so it's nine of those. Okay, so it's almost, this is really close to 0.004, okay, that's what it is, all right. So my specification, back to my Miata, is point, roughly 0.004, okay, and the minimum that I want is 0.1, so the minimum, we're going to go right here, is 0.0011. So if I look at that, and it's like, okay. So that's one thousandths to roughly three thousandths or four thousandths, okay, would be my maximum clearance, all right? And so we're going to go out into the shop and we're going to look to see what we actually have on a Rodberry, all right? Okay, follow me out there. Hey, it's Al Angelo. And we're, now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, plastic gauge, all right? So... Um, what I've done is I've rotated the engine so that this number one is up as, as far as it goes. So this is called bottom dead center. And so I'm going to go ahead and take the rod cap off. All right. Okay. Okay. I've got the rod cap off here. And you can see here's my bearing, and this this is a race bearing, by the way. So they're they're a little bit different in color, but that's a race bearing. All right, and I'm gonna set these here. All right, and here's my plastic gauge, as I described a little earlier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piece of it. I measure how wide it is here, and I'm just gonna rip this off. Okay. And then inside of here is a little piece of plastic. It's kind of like wax. It doesn't taste like mint, so don't eat it. Believe me, I've tried it. Okay. All right. So I've laid it in across like that. You get a zoom in there. You can see it. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the rod cap back on. I make sure I line this notch up with that notch right there. So the notches go together. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and torque it. I'm going to put these in my pocket so they don't fall in the engine. All right. So I'm going to torque it to 40. Let's see, that looks like it's set on 40. I make sure that I don't rotate the engine, okay? Okay, that's 40. All right, I'm going to go ahead and undo it. I know some people are going, oh, my gosh, you used a torque wrench in the reverse position. All right. Okay, and now what's happened is that it should have squished the wax, and it did. All right, so 
you can see here that it squished that wax. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the thousandths side of it. So one side is millimeters, the other side is thousandths. And I just try to see which one of these, I'll try to get an area where you can see it better as best you can. So if I go to this one right here, that little white notch, it's a little too thin. If I go to this one right here, that looks like it's about the right size. See that green, how that green area is the same size as that green one? If I go to this one, obviously the white is much bigger. And of course on this one, it's even, even, even larger. So this is it right here, okay? So that tells me that the clearance between this journal and that bearing is two thousandths of an inch. And that's in our specifications, okay? All right, so all I do now is I just scrape off the wax. Like that. Okay, and then um, we'll go ahead and wipe down these with a, a lint-free towel. Put a little bit of uh, assembly lube in there and put this back together. And that's how I check it. And I would do that on all of the mains and all of the rods, all right? And just double checking to make sure that my clearances are right, okay? Hey, thanks for watching this video. And it's Al Angelo from A Plus Racing. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you at the racetrack. Bye now.